Good morning, agents, and welcome to another daily episode of Target Loot today for October 24th. The series that shows you the Target Loot map, farming tips and tricks, vendor reset highlights, and much more. I'm Agent Shadow, and if you enjoy my content, please consider pressing those subscribe and like buttons below. In the pinned comment, there are links to join my Discord and clan, support my channel, but we'll cover more of that at the end of the video. Let's get started with the Dark Zones first and the highlights from the vendors this week, then DC, and finally NYC Target Loot highlights last. Alright Agents, this is just your daily reminder to do your weekly SHD requisition for your first exotic cache. At the summit, you can do floors 1 to 100. As soon as you finish 100, which, you know, you can do that just by jumping in a group that's on like floor 100 or floor 99 or whatever. You'll still get this exotic cache, the named item, and the 366k XP. And then finally, legendary, your weekly legendary mission. This week it's Capital Building Stronghold. Just finish it for your third exotic cache. You can do this each character. That's four characters. So if you need to do it on all four or a few, whatever you need to do, just get it done for your exotic caches. All right, agents, we're over here at the highlights for the Dark Zone. So starting off with DZ West, we don't have anything. There's skill attachments and there's nothing at the vendors. I don't recommend going here at all today. But over here in DZ South, we do got Seska's targeted loot. So starting off with that, you can get the Devil's Due backpack with perfect clutch. And then at the vendor, there is the Anarchist cookbook if you need to grab that for whatever reason. And then finally, at DZ East, we got Grupo Sumbro. Now, there's two things you can do here today. At the DZ East vendor, there's the Black Friday with Perfectly Unhinged. That's going to be there for a few more days until the vendor resets. That's 152 DZ resources if you want to go ahead and buy it. Otherwise, Grupo Sumbro targeted loot. You get the Door Kickers knock with Perfect Spark. Now, apparently, they fix Spark to where it doesn't just proc whenever you shoot your weapon or land a shot it now probably just i haven't tried it but i think it just procs whenever you have a skill you know what it what it's supposed to do so i don't think uh people are really going to be wanting this as much anymore but if you want to go and farm for it definitely you know go and farm for it today at dz east all right let's go check out the north side target loot highlights all right agents we're over here on the north side target loot highlights so starting off with camp white oak now this is an invaded mission this week so gloves target loot you can get the btsu gloves and of course the contractor's gloves those give you an extra eight percent damage to armor those are the two things i would farm for today at camp white oak for sure and remember black tusk so btsu gloves have a higher drop rate chance than usual we got Alp Summit at Coney Island Ballpark. You can, of course, farm for the percussive maintenance with perfect tech support. I don't recommend it. Like I always say, I would highly recommend a chest piece with empathetic resolve. Put that on a healer build, and that's about as useful as an Alp Summit piece really can be. You got knee pads at Manning National Zoo. You can get the Ninja Bike Messenger knee pads. They give you 25% bonus armor when you do cover to cover vault, and it reloads your weapon at the same time. You can also get the Sawyer's Knee Pads, which gives you up to 30% extra weapon damage just for sitting still. And then finally, the Fox's Prayer Knee Pads. They give you 8% damage to targets out of cover. I would personally farm Overlord instead, but it's up to you, of course. And then finally, at the Summit, it's whatever you want it to be. Uh, some people are telling me the loot has gotten a lot better since the maintenance. Other people tell me it's still terrible. I haven't tried it in a few days, so... I, I can't really speak on it right now. So let's go head over to the West Side Target Loot Highlights. All right, agents, West Side Target Loot Highlights. Now, starting off, we got the gear sets. Now, we got Strikers at West End, True Patriot over here at Roosevelt Island, and then Tip at the Spear at Lincoln Memorial. Now, I always recommend, you know, True Patriot, of course. I, I have a build video out for that. I'll put in the top right card. It's an amazing build. I mean, you can just tank everything pretty much and at the same time deal insane amounts of damage. I really, really love True Patriot in this TU-11 build, but Tip of the Spear is pretty good as well. Lincoln Memorial, if you want to run that. Strikers, I never recommend getting. I don't know who uses that. Um, I would just use Hunter's Fury or True Patriot instead. And then, of course, we got holsters at Federal Emergency Bunker. That's the Imperial Dynasty holster, the Dodge City holster, and the Forge holster. Those are the holsters you can farm for. 
We got submachine guns at Downtown West. You can farm for the Lady Death, the Chatterbox. If you want a good SMG, get a Vector variant or an MPX. Usually rolled with strained or maybe close and personal on a Vector. And then of course you can farm for the safety distance and the swap chain. Safety distance comes with perfect outsider. The dark winner can drop from target to loot rewards. The apartment is a DZ exclusive for sure. So that's pretty much it for SMGs. We got mass at bank HQ. So that's the coyotes mask, the vial mask and the punch drunk mask. That gives you an extra 20% headshot damage baked right into the second or third slot. Sokolo Concern at DCD, if you're looking for a good piece, a vest or backpack piece, you know, with Intimidate or Adrenaline Rush or something on it, I would farm this for sure on Heroic today. And then, yeah, that's pretty much about it that I would really recommend. I mean, you got chest pieces at Foggy Bottom, you can get the Tardigrade Exotic Chest Piece or the Ridgeways if you haven't gotten the Ridgeways from the project already. Um, someone in your group or clan, if you're farming with them and they get it to drop, they can share it with you and that will complete the project. But yeah, let's go check out the East Side Target Alu highlights now. All right, agents over here on the East Side Target Alu highlights. So first off, let's do the gear sets for over here because there's quite a bit. Starting with Aces and Eights in Downtown East, and then of course we got Future Initiative at District Union Arena, Eclipse Protocol at Federal Triangle, Foundry Bulwark at uh, Viewpoint Museum, and then finally Hunter's Fury at American History Museum. Like I always say, Hunter's Fury is probably the best gear set in the game right now, DPS-wise. And then Foundry Bulwark, Armor Regen, just can't beat it, 3-piece or even 4-piece. Future Initiative is my favorite build, although I do have the chest and backpack from the raid. Otherwise, I would put on that Alp Summit with um, Empathetic Resolve. And then Aces and Eights is pretty good for a headshot build. Although I personally run a whole, um, an all high-end one because they nerfed it from multiplicative to additive damage, this is, you know, multiple title updates ago. So starting from the south end, we got Providence Defense at Jefferson Plaza. You can go ahead and get the Sacrifice with Perfect Glass Cannon. That amplifies all damage by 30%, but amplifies all incoming damage by 60%. If you're interested, I typically choose Obliterate or Intimidate. I never run Glass Cannon. We got Hana Yu at Southwest. You can get the Force Multiplier Backpack with Perfect Combined Arms. That gives you an extra 30% skill damage. Amazing backpack. You just got to keep shooting every three seconds. And that's something I prefer and like. Now, if you don't like that, you can go with Tech Support. That gives you an extra 25% skill damage, but you can just kind of sit behind cover and let your skills do the work for you. We got Overlord at Capitol Building. So if you want to farm for exclusively Fox's Prayer, knee pads with 8% damage to targets out of cover you can farm capital building today you can even do it on legendary if you want to try to get a god roll triple god roll we got bellstone armory at jefferson trade center you can get the everyday carrier with perfectly efficient well i haven't tried that talent out really it might be really good comment in the comment section below and let me know if anyone's tried that chest piece so far Otherwise, I think you might be able to get the Liquid Engineer with Perfect Bloodsucker to drop from target to loot rewards, but so far, the data miners are still saying that it's a Darkstone exclusive. And then finally, we got Rifles at Grand Washington Hotel. You can get the Diamondback or Merciless or and Merciless. And then, of course, the Classic M1A. Run that with some of the best rifle damage talents like Boomerang, Rifleman, and Ranger, and you'll just absolutely destroy everything from long range. And then, of course, you can get the Baker's Dozen. That's the named Classic M1A. I know it's really good for console players, so if you want to pick that up on console, go for it. All right, that's about it for the DC Target Loot Highlights. Let's go check out what we got in New York City Target Loot Highlights, and I'll let you agents go. All right, agents, we're over here in the New York City Target Loot Highlights. So starting off with Civic Center area, we got Badger Tough. You can farm for the Zero F's chest piece, named chest piece for Badger Tough with Perfect Unbreakable. Absolutely amazing chest piece. It was really great in TU9, TU10, you know, before Hunter's Fury and all that stuff came out. And, you know, my I put my True Patriot build together. I would always run Perfectly Unbreakable for my DPS build. And it's still extremely viable. I just prefer Hunter's Fury or True Patriot over it now. Now, Raldo Holdings at the Tombs. I always run two pieces with this with a headshot build with Perfect Headhunter chest piece. Try to get a backpack with Vigilance or Composure on it. And it absolutely just headshots everything to death. You got Douglas and Harding at Stranded Tanker. That's where I would farm for the Punch Drunk Mass with that 20% headshot damage. And you have a chance for the Imperial Dynasty holster to drop from Vivian Connolly at the very end of the mission. 
We got Walker Harris and Co. at Pathway Park. Speaking of, you know, the perfect chain killer, perfect headhunter chess piece, you can get that today at Pathway Park. And the Matador can sometimes drop from target to loot rewards, but otherwise, if you're looking for something to farm for, that would be the chain killer, perfect headhunter chess piece from Walker Harris and Co. We got shotguns at Battery Park. Now you can get the Sweet Dreams exotic shotgun, which is the only exotic shotgun in the game. Or you can get the best three shotguns in the game, which is the Mop, 10% armor on killed, close and personal, custom M870, and the Marine Super 90. Hands down the three best shotguns in this game. And then of course we got light machine guns at Liberty Island, so the exotic Bullet King and the exotic Pestilence. And then a named LMG like the Carnage, Slepner, Good Times with Perfect Fast Hands. The new reliable quiet roar there's all sorts of named lmgs and then we got no uh, negotiators dilemma at wall street which also has a you know chance to drop the bullet king from the boss at the end and then an ongoing directive and financial district if you want to farm that and put together a Ridge, uh, ridgeways pride build then go for it but that's pretty much about it for new york city target aloo highlights all right agents well that was the target of loot for today thank you for watching and be sure to subscribe and like if you enjoyed my content if you would like to become a member for support and exclusive perks click the join button below or you can grab some shadow gaming merchandise i just added a bunch of new designs and cool stuff to buy and lowered the prices across the board on every single item now the promo code for the free shipping was up until today october 24th so that's an $8 savings if you want to order some merch. Now until the 24th is the best time, which is today. Today is the last day to get it. You can also support me on Alt Tech like Patreon and Subscribestar. But honestly, if you're still watching this video right now to the end, thank you. That's truly the best way to support me. And of course, whitelist me on your ad blocker. Take care, agents, and be sure to stay tuned for more daily Division 2 content. This is Agent Shadow signing off. I will see you in the next video. Take care, agents.